Well, thank you, Sandesh. Thanks for all the uh, heavy lifting you and April and the whole steering committee has done to put this together and hopefully bring it up to uh, some amazing uh, fruition at the end. And uh, I've been told, I'm Chris Vijay, I've been told to crack some jokes, but uh, I'll be serious today. Uh, as, as you know, there has been an endless uh, fatigue uh, of, of uh, uh, endless fatigue of uh, learning and uh, on a continuum since the uh, COVID-19 hit us. And, uh, and yet, and yet there is this unquenchable uh, human thirst that you all have for a continuum of learning. And then there is this unbearable yearning that I feel as well, and I'm sure you're all feeling, in really being grounded in knowledge, uh, grounded in passion, and grounded in, uh, in spreading the love and, and spreading this warmth of togetherness. To that end, I believe that you're all here because of that, that we can all come together, we can all get together and, and spread the warmth and learn something new from each other. So I'm excited that you're all here. Thank you all for coming. And uh, to that end, we have a great speaker. I'm gonna introduce her first, and Dr. Alberta Warner. She is uh, uh, going to talk on diagnosis of amyloid. She's a director of non-invasive cardiology, uh, cardiac amyloid program at the uh, VA Greater Los Angeles Healthcare System. She's the director of the Advanced Heart Failure and Transplant Cardiology Fellowship Program. She's a professor of clinical medicine uh, at the UCLA School of Medicine, and uh, she's going to talk on amyloid. And uh, Alberta, come on over. I was supposed to crack a joke, and as you see, she's coming with a cane. And I was telling Alberta earlier that, you know, the only joke I can think of is that you're faking spinal stenosis or tarsal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> Take it away, Alberta. <laughs> 